Hi guys and welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Emma and this is my little craft corner where I usually talk about knitting but today I'm going to be talking about something that's yarn related that's not knitting because it's going to be spinning. I have recently acquired a drop spindle from a friend who uh, wasn't using it anymore and wanted to get rid of it. I like, please let me have it. I would love to try to use a drop spindle. And then I went to Tessel a couple weeks ago and I bought this huge uh, 240 gram skein ball thing of Icelandic grey yarn. And it is beautiful. It is a little bit like very light grey with some variegation in it where it sometimes turns a bit darker grey. And I just love this so much and it is huge and I'm going to be trying to uh, learn how to spin today. First I have to find the beginning of this thing. And I'm going to be using the tutorial by Scribble on YouTube to try and figure out how to do this. Oh, looks like I found the end. So this is what it looks like. Yeah, I've never touched a spindle before. I've never, I don't really know a lot about spinning or yarn or anything. So I just went to uh, Tessel, which is an island in the Netherlands with some friends and I saw a yarn shop and I just really let me uh, be advised by the lovely lady working there. And the store name was The Meaningful Crafts. And yeah, I, she just paid so much attention to me and really showed me how to spin, but I've pretty much forgotten everything. So I'm going to be using the tur tur So I'm going to be using the tutorial by Scribble to hopefully find out how to do this. So I'm going to be watching the tutorial right now and then I'll uh, get back to you when I get started. Okay, so it looks like the first step is to attach the fleece, she's calling it a fleece, to the hook. And I'm going to try to do that, which... All right, step one, success. Then the next step is, and then just spin. So let me... It looks like there's something forming here. It's a bit... I don't know if it should be this thick or... what is supposed to happen because this is thicker than the start so I don't know if I should on do oh this is coming loose now if this should as you see in the beginning it is very thin and then it just get thicker and thicker and I don't think that's supposed to happen and I don't really want that to happen let's <laughs> let's watch maybe a bit more of the video see if I'm doing this correctly okay this is looking very complicated I just untwisted everything I just did to re attempt she's holding it over her hand and just I notice that it is it is becoming thicker and thicker and I can get like clumps of it undone but the fibers do tend to just stick together and then just be forming a huge clump which is all right I 
Okay, the beginning here is very thin and then it's becoming a bit thicker, but not too thick. I believe that's okay. Ooh. Oh, now the yarn is doing this, which now I have to become, I have to be very careful to not un twist the yarn to not like to not allow it to untwist on itself because this is super annoying Ooh. see there's another part coming loose now so this is I've taken this all off the lint I don't know if I'm supposed to do this or what I'm supposed to be doing but It's all right. Am I untwisting it now? Yeah. So be very mindful to go in the same direction all the time. Looks like I have a bit of yarn. I know the next step would be to unhook this and do some other stuff with it. So I'm going to be trying to see what I have to do now. Okay, so this is going to be more difficult than I hoped it would be because I have to make sure that this doesn't untwist while I unhook it and put it on there. I think I'm going to be attempting to just hold it between my fingers here. Yeah, you see when I let loose of this tension, it just does that. So I'll maybe just run it around my finger a bit. Yeah, you can see that there is some variation in the thickness of yarn. That's alright, that will probably get better with time I hope when I unhook it you're not going to be able to see anything I just did but that's all right and I'm making a knot on the end as the lady told me to And then put it around. Ooh. Try not to hit myself in the face. I, oh no. Putting it a bit around the spindle. Ooh, a bit looser. Do it like this. And then around the hook. Then I have spun some yarn as this is all just loose there. And then I'm, I guess I'm just going to continue this is getting too thick again so I have to undo this and see if I can Again, oh, there's now part that's has really come loose. Oh, we have an issue. The fleece is now no longer attached to my spindle. And I have seen this video before, so I know she does cover this. Um, Let me just play that part and see what I have to do now. Okay, so the answer was to put it back uh, in my hand and just go back and do it again. Um, meanwhile, this part has come 
loose. If you remember, this was all the way here. And this is now sliding up, which is not. Oh, and it's now entirely loose. Great. We love that. We do love that. Um, this looks like it has been unspun now, so I have some troubleshooting to do. This is actually quite annoying. Um, we're all learning together here, I guess. Let me see what happens if I put it underneath the thing so that it doesn't go over all the way. Yeah, no, but this is it's too short now. Oh no. So let me hook it in here. A race pin. There's, by the way, fiber everywhere on my pants now. I should have maybe not worn black pants for this video. I swear I'm having fun with this. It might not look like it, but I swear I'm having fun here. It's just fiber everywhere and I don't know what I'm doing. And even though this fleece wasn't too expensive or anything, it's still... I don't want this to get ruined or... I just want to do a good job, you know? Even though it's my first time, I... Just, I decided to make a video off of it, so I now want to do a good job. Um, yeah, so I'm going to do the middle finger trick that I just found, I just came up with. Um, again, unhook it here. See if I can tie it around the bottom. Make a beautiful tie around the bottom and then see if I can twist it around here and hook it. Yes, that looks like it won't get undone as easy anymore. Ooh, so that is great. Uh, let's see if I can get past the part, like the fragile part we just came across, you know? I feel like that was around here. Like it has already rejoined itself, which I find amazing with this. See, there's a big clump here. That's not what I want to happen. Can I untwist some things here? Or is it just... Oh, this is very loose. Yeah, so let me see. What I can... Do... Your arms be going very thin again. That is okay. Let me just use my elbow to keep the fleece out of running into this here. I really don't know if you can see this very clearly or if this is even in any way entertaining to watch, but I just thought I'm learning a new thing, why not take you along for a journey? Yeah, I feel like I have to unhook now. Do the middle finger trick again. Oh, 
unhook the yarn. Twist it on the spindle. I feel like there are definitely parts that are more twisted than others. Which I don't know if I don't know how I feel about that. But it is happening, so not a lot that I can do about it. It is again my first time ever touching a spindle, so I cannot be too hard on myself for this. I believe. Let me see if I can un ply. Do you call this plying? I don't know. Ooh. It's really crack. Yeah, I can un do this. Then put it around the hook. And put it over my hand. And re twist my yarn. There's definitely more color variation in here than I thought there would be. I don't think it will focus, but there's more darker parts than I had anticipated there would be, which is fine. It is actually quite nice. I don't know what I'm going to be making out of this, if anything. Like all the variation in thickness just I don't know uh, maybe if I combine it with a mohair this would be uh, some nice yarn but without it all the um, variation would just maybe be too much I think So pairing it with a mohair might be a good idea to just kind of even out all the thickness, you know, the thick and thin spots. Just kind of have that somewhat more even and equal than anything. Yeah, so let's unhook it this is definitely getting more easy to twist the yarn on when I've already when I already do have a little bit on there the hook just caught into the fleece redoing this I'm doing it a bit hooking it and we're going to be twisting again this is definitely a little less uh, relaxing than I was hoping it would be but it might also be because I'm just super new to this and I don't know what I'm doing which is apparent because I just there are like plucks coming off I am Oh no. And we're loose again. Which is fine. But I do think I might um, actually end the video here because while this is so much fun, this is also super stressful. And I can go on and on uh, for hours, maybe, trying to figure this all out. But I just think I will update you uh, in, a in a later video on how my spinning is going 
Um, yeah, I'll just update you on that later. Because watching me try to figure this out might not be too interesting. Um, let me quickly show you in a bit how much we have done today. Ooh, yeah. I'm now getting distracted everywhere and just trying to do it quickly, which is a sign that I should stop for now. Um, so I'm going to be listening to that. Um, just unhooking it. Adding it on. Maybe I'll just... Tie a knot in the end. For now. I don't know how to leave a spinning whip. Would you call this a whip? I don't know. But this might be it. Um, this is how much I've done. You can definitely see there's a bit of a thick and thin situation here. Which, of course, the very fancy Nora yarn is also thick and thin. So I'm just on that trend, I guess. But this is how much I've done. It is very. Um, this very much a halo forming. I just tied it on here and I am putting the yarn on there. This is how much of the fleece I have um, before it fell off. Then I have a tiny part of fleece that I will try to rejoin. And I have my ball that is now a little less of a ball and <laughs> more of a mess around here where I've been plucking off and yeah, thank you so much for watching this video to the end. Uh, if you are a hand spinner, if you use a drop spindle or anything, and you have any tips for me, please put them in the comments down below. And please let me know how what you think of spinning and if you've ever knit anything with hand spun yarn. Because I would love to know like the things you can make with it. Like I know technically you can make anything with hand spun yarn, but just... I don't know, maybe a hat or if you made a sweater out of hand spun yarn, I would love to know. So let me know in the comments down below and I will see you guys again real soon. Bye! Bye.